This is your typical local shop. And this is 24 7 humanless AI store in Shanghai. To enter, you would scan your card or a phone, pick an item, and leave. Once you left, system not only automatically knows what you bought, but your card gets charged as well. The first time I experienced with shopping, I had so many questions. Is it really AI or is it some human watching me shop? The first thought was that, okay, this is the future. This is going to change and replace shops as we know. But now I'm actually thinking this is going to be completely new shopping experience and completely new business opportunity. But first, what happens if you just jump, grab, and run? Are you jumping? <laughs> High five. We, we, where is robots coming? Where are robots? The moment we left a store with an item, without having scanned our card first, the technician immediately got notifications on their phone. Also, any item that is removed and leaves the store is shown on a dashboard, and you as a business owner get to see full insights. Some gentleman just asked, like, what happens if it's actually 10 people in the store, 20 people in the store? Like, wouldn't system get confused? According to staff from such store manufacturer and Wavi partner CloudPick, it doesn't matter because it's not facial recognition, but it's actually body mapping. They are tracking like a point system on the human body, but no face. And actually, like, this is kind of crazy because I was like, we are, like, I'm used to that you enter the store and there's camera, right? But they were like a bit shocked. They're like, so you okay with being filmed? And I was like, wow, isn't this a standard? And they were like, no, because apparently in these stores there is no cameras. However, as a business owner, depending on what country you install this, it's perfectly fine to have additionally cameras, but it's like also speaking with this system. This camera system is also mapping out items inside of a shelf. But not only that, these shelves detect gravity change. And so, knowing what items are in what shelf, plus item weight, system knows what has been moved. Now, my question was, like, these are heavy items, so that's easy, right? But what about, like, a small items, like, let's say, like, chips? And they told me that the sensitivity is down to three grams. You know, like we understand how AI and all the tech is changing our digital space, but it's so incredible to get a glimpse of how it's going to change physical spaces and how this technology enables completely new business opportunity. Hear me out. You know, vending machines, the problem with vending machine, you have very little supply. Of course, it always gets stuck, that's one thing. But also, like, it's one person at the time that can buy it, right? This type of shopping that you just saw is not concept anymore. It's not, like, widely adopted also even in China. But there are different locations where business owners installed this and results are crazy. This is for small business owners. You can scale it so easily because there's the whole technological foundation that Huawei and partners provides, right? Huawei's Wi-Fi, cloud, and edge computing ensures the technological foundation, while the convenience, automation, and human motion recognition are all provided by CloudPick. And there are companies that take the technology and make a build-up sets. So actually, you could have a business where you sell this to other retail stores or locations. Back to my thought. I don't think this is going to replace the market, the shopping experience where, you know, we want to touch, we want to feel things. But this technology is going to be how we buy things in the future with universal basic income. Think about it. You scan a card, it can be points too. You walk in based on your profile, and status, you might see completely different prices because they have these dynamic labels. And the first day when I came, it was like in yen and written in Chinese. And they changed it to euros and English for me for the next day. So that was really, really cool to see. Also think about these sensors in the shelves. This could be applied any other industry. It's not just retail. Like, if you can sense how many items are left in a shelf, 
Like you can also resupply, you can get alerts that, hey, I need more. Or like also this can inform your marketing campaigns because if one item suddenly is selling out, the last thing you want is empty shelves. I think like every university campus, every airline gate, events, concerts, stadiums, anywhere where you have like a lot of traffic, and maybe not usually traffic, you can install this. Like literally, I think this is the end of vending machines and the new future of like convenient shopping. When you're on a go, you need to grab an item. It's 24 seven. I can't believe I'm in Hong Kong. I'm flying like at 1 a.m. All the shops are closed. And I walk and I see a shop saying 24 hours contactless. And that's exactly one of the installs that I just made a video about. How surreal! And there are all the different types of cameras. We are going to buy some drink. Well, at least now I can fly home with a little bit more comfort and, and yes, this is empty. They let me keep this as a souvenir and it was very, very tasty.